3D pen may surprise you by its ability of going from a stringy, messy looking surface to a smooth, customized finish and without having to prime and paint. Let's look at few tricks on how to get there. First, we'll need a few components with the desired look. We'll start with the brick pattern. I like to use the pieces of the 3D made design base. If you don't have one, use a ruler. I will make the background from yellow and red filament to get an orangish speckled looking brick. Mind you, this is only the background. We'll separate it into the individual bricks later. One way to go about fusing it is using an electric griddle or a regular stove top with a griddle on top. By the way, make sure you have a dedicated griddle. Food and plastic don't mix well. Also, use sensible safety precautions and equipment. Especially the gloves are a must. This gets hot. Use a Teflon sheet to prevent it from sticking to the griddle. Now wait until the whole thing melts and merges. Most of the holes will close, but usually not all of them. So cover it with a second Teflon sheet and gently rub it with a rolled up rag to close all the remaining holes. Check against light if you close them all. And if not, keep going until all of them are gone. Cool it between two marble tiles to keep it from warping and speed up the cooling process. Because you won't be able to peel it off like this until it's completely cold. Now the background is done and we can move on to the actual brick pattern. Fastest way is making a grid with small squares. The bottom center tile of the mat is perfect for this. Or use a graph paper and a metal ruler if you don't have one. And then Edit out the parts you don't need to get the brick layout. Now for joining it all together. It helps to stick the corners down to keep it safely in place so it doesn't shift during the second melt. Very gently, as not to distort the brick lines, make sure it is merged all over. And we have a brick veneer. Now we can go 3D. another way to make multi-colored veneers. This time I will use three colors and a different way of fusing. I am making it slightly bigger than I need because the edges will get trimmed off. Now we have to get it all to stick together. Alternatively you can use an iron instead of the griddle to fuse the layers. You will still need the two Teflon sheets so it doesn't stick to the iron. Cool it the same way for the same reasons and here you go. 
Ready to make a pyramid? I will trim my pieces to four equilateral triangles and proceed just like in the octahedron video. Yes, the link is in the description if you need a refresher. you would like stronger structure, you can put in an extra layer or two of plastic before you lose the access to the inside. The seams look pretty clean and I could almost leave them alone, but one shows a bit more of a black line than the others, so I will attempt to make them look all the same. Now is the time to put a base on the roof. And for that I made a piece of plain black veneer. This step is kind of optional because it won't show much, but I'm hoping it will make it easier to attach the roof to the rest of the tower. Finally, a short note on making some of the little details. Just glue these on so I don't mess up our brick design. All done. Here are some of the related videos if you would like to know more details on how to make decorative veneers. And in the meantime, go and make something! <laughs>